Hello everyone, welcome to your soundproof guide. Today I'll be talking to you about soundproof paint. Does it actually work? Well, here's all the facts that you should know before trying out this product. One question people are asking me more and more frequently is regarding soundproofing paint. Does soundproof paint actually work, they ask, or at least help in soundproofing a wall or ceiling in their home? Whether we live in a house or an apartment in the city, outside noise can be a really irritating situation that affects greatly the quality of our everyday life and night sleep. Soundproofing a house has been for years the number one solution in dealing with the problem of outside noise. There are various techniques in the field of soundproofing, some of which are more effective and less costly than others. One such method which gained a lot of admirers throughout the last years includes the use of soundproof paint. Does soundproof paint, however, really work or is it just a temporary solution that doesn't really deserve your money? Well, let's have a closer look. First, what is soundproof paint? Soundproof paint is also known as acoustic paint and it can be a good solution if you wish to control the amount of noise pollution that reaches the inside of your house. This type of paint is actually a fast drying and water-based viscoelastic compound with the ability to dampen vibrations and noises. Soundproofing paint in today's world is non-hazardous and suitable for both exterior and interior use. All you need to do is spray, roll, or trowel it on surfaces, including the ceiling and the walls of your house. Once dry, a protective film is created on the surface that is both UV and water resistant. It also exhibits very low combustibility. Many of us wonder about the differences between regular paint and soundproof paint. Since we are afraid of any possible emissions of hazardous compounds to our house, it's normal to question the quality of acoustic paint. With that in mind, we should also know that most of the soundproof paints nowadays are made of vinyl acrylic, commonly known as latex. These paints contain chains of polymers which act as binders to the water-based surface of the paint. Acoustic paint differs from regular paint in the sense of its insulation properties. The vinyl acrylic substance is specially made to provide both acoustic and thermal insulation on the surface it is applied. Acoustic paint contains some specifically made soundproofing fillers which increases a lot of the paint's noise absorbing properties. Those fillers are usually called ceramic microspheres. Regular paint contains irregular fillers that most of the times do not flow exceptionally well together. Those fillers usually leave large gaps that deprives everyday paint of providing a solid surface capable of absorbing noises. On the other hand, ceramic spheres in sound dampening paint provides a increase in uniformity. The absence of gaps also results in better insulations of noise reduction effects and also help in reducing echo. When you decide to soundproof your home with acoustic paint, you should have in mind that you don't have to paint your entire house. You can focus on critical rooms in your home that traps noise more easily than others. For example, if your bedroom is beside a noisy roadway with heavy traffic, you should probably start with soundproofing that outside wall. A common question most of us have in mind has to do with the way soundproofing paint work. How does it protect our house against noise? While well, the answer to this particular question is based on the thickness of the paint, we can all imagine that the thicker the material, the better the soundproofing results will be. For this reason, we usually apply at least three layers of paint for optimum results. Soundproofing paint is heavy bodied and the content of those spheres mentioned before add to the sound absorbing results. Acoustic paint actually works both ways. It will reduce the noise that comes into your house by absorbing parts of it and will also minimize the noise that wants to escape the room. Therefore, your neighbors will actually be rewarded by this painting solution as well. Most importantly, soundproofing paint can protect your rooms from the irritating echo effect. The thick, soft surfaces it creates to your ceiling and walls will prevent echo by minimizing sound from bouncing and reflecting from wall to wall. Soundproofing paint is capable of reducing sound of normal frequencies of upwards of 30%. When we talk about normal frequencies or mid-range frequencies, we actually mean the noise made by people talking. So if you're really bothered by your neighbor's loud noise or shouting, soundproof paint can help you minimize that irritating noise. On the other hand, acoustic paint is not capable of helping you in effectively reducing the noise made from heavy traffic or loud barking dogs near your home. What I mean by heavy traffic, I mean mostly 
honking horns or revving of the engines and things of that nature. A typical acoustic paint can reduce the transmission of sound through the walls and ceiling by 2 to 4 decibels per coat. Since the standard application is 3 coats of paint for each wall, the total amount of sound reduction can reach between 6 to 12 decibels. Soundproof paint does work to some degree. This depends a lot on the types of noise you wish to block. It doesn't help you fight sounds of very high or low frequencies, but it can be a good and cheap solution for the mid-range frequencies you're trying to block. In case you're in need of better sound dampening, you could combine this method with another type of soundproofing. For example, if you live near an airport or near a high traffic road, you can spray your walls and ceiling with some soundproof paint and also replace your existing windows and doors with double glaze windows. Now let's talk about how different frequencies affect soundproofing. The specific frequency of each sound will determine the effectiveness of these types of sound reducing paint. Bass and treble frequencies are affected a lot differently by the materials they come into contact with. Harder surfaces have a tendency to bounce and then reflect sound of mid-range frequencies, while softer surfaces tend to absorb them. Bass frequencies are not easily absorbed by soft materials, and for this reason, they are more difficult to control. Flat surfaces like ceilings and walls are also capable of resonating more with bass sound. For this reason, they need more effective soundproofing compared to other surfaces like furniture. There are many available brands nowadays in the marketplace that provides high quality soundproof paints for every taste and budget. Acousticote, Soundguard, and many other companies have a lot of sound reducing paint of different colors and prices. You can find the soundproofing paint you wish to buy via the official sites of the companies or online retailers like Amazon. I'll have some links of these paints in the description below so you can feel free to check them out. Now I'm going to talk to you about combining soundproof paint with other methods for best results. For you to reach the best results while soundproofing a room, you can easily combine soundproofing paint with other soundproofing methods. Heck, you can even use household items to soundproof a room inside your home. One option that I often use is adding built-in shelves on the wall. I mostly use this method when soundproofing a bathroom wall. The built-in shelves do not only help block outside noise, but it also does a great job of reducing the amount of echo inside a room. Usually I would add towels inside an open shelf in a bathroom to absorb the echo. A living room, however, loading the shelves with thick heavy books will do wonders in blocking noise coming from the other side of the wall. Now that the walls are covered, it's now time to work on soundproofing the windows. There are different ways to go about soundproofing windows, but the two most popular and effective ways to get it done is by installing soundproof curtains and also sealing around the windows. Soundproof curtains are an effective soundproofing solution and one that will not break the bank. You can buy a good quality set of curtains for under $50 on Amazon. I'll have some links of soundproofing curtains in the description below, some curtains that I personally recommend and know that they work pretty well. The second method of soundproofing a window is by caulking around the window seal with green glue noise proofing sealant. This type of sealant is made specifically for noise reduction and is only going to set you back about $20. These soundproofing methods will surely help you soundproof a room once you're done applying a third layer of soundproof paint. Naturally, there are multiple approaches which you can combine with soundproof paint. Some methods are certainly easier than others and won't require as much time and money. Soundproofing your house can be vital if you wish to live a more quiet and peaceful life. Unfortunately, there are so many different types of noises that can affect our everyday life. From ordinary sounds like shouting or barking dogs to more intensive ones like outside traffic or even aircraft noise. Blocking each category of noise based on its frequency and wavelength can be complicated. Each frequency requires its own soundproof method. That doesn't mean that the use of another method will be disappointing, but it signifies that it will be certainly less effective. Renovating your house to make it quieter can be a tiresome experience, especially if you wish to take an active part in this effort. However, it's an effort that will definitely be worth it. After all, silence is gold. So now I turn this to you. Have you tried soundproofing paint? 
and did you find that it worked as good as you thought or were you disappointed? Let us know in the comment section so everybody can learn from your experiences. And don't forget to click the subscribe button because there will be a lot more content about soundproofing coming up in the future. Thank you.